Yeah. Now, in recognizing demons, just a little more word about that. Uh, first of all, they're liars. Don't need to ask them about it. If you need to ask, and if you need to know what it is, what spirit it is, uh, then ask God. Uh, unzip your mind. Open your mind up and say, God, let me know. And uh, you may find it out by questioning somebody. It may be from knowledge uh, that it's incurable. If they say, well, the doctors can't find a cause or cure of it, cast the spirit out. Uh, one time a man came up and he had his leg cut off, amputated. And, uh, and so he came up to him. He had an artificial leg. And he came up to him in a prayer line that night. And he said, I got pain in my right foot. And I started laying. I said, isn't that the one that got cut off? He said, yeah. He said, they call it a phantom pain. I said, in Jesus' name, devil, I bind you. Now, you phantom spirit, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out just like that. Uh, unzip your mind, though, because uh, uh, we caution you about uh, uh, hitting the Bible a great long period of two minutes a day, uh, not even thinking about God during the day, except he passes your mind enough to say, God, would you do this for me? I mean, get in the Word of God. Give your life to him and follow after the Spirit, and he'll take you into operating in any gift that he needs to use for you to do the job he assigns to you. But if you're not doing anything for God, you don't need the discerning of spirits because you wouldn't know how to cast them out anyway. So that's why it's so close to draw close to God and do the things He wants you to do. And that total submission will clear you from that.